important thing to do to this legislation, uh, Dr. Emanuel, in terms of lowering the cost? Oh, there are the most important uh, single thing we could do is to change how we pay doctors and hospitals so that they're incentivized not just to take care of patients when they're sick, that's what happens today, and to do more under the fee-for-service system. How come but you to, didn't do that in the beginning? We, we did some of that in the Affordable Care Act, and we did it in two ways. First, we had in the Affordable Care Act the uh, accountable care organizations where we incentivize doctors to improve quality and reduce costs. And the second way is we created this thing called CMMI, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation, to run experiments and figure out how it's best to uh, pay doctors so that they will change their practices to improve the quality and keep people healthy and lower the cost. And it's had some important successes. For example, in Dr. Price's own area on hips and knees, orthopedists now have a real incentive to be much more efficient to actually reduce the price of implants. And yeah. it's worked around the country. We just published How come a paper. so many doctors won't accept it? Oh, no. Doctors love it, actually. Oh, really? That's not what I hear from doctors. No. Or, ortho, <laughs> ortho doctors Carolina. I don't know where Maria, you're getting this. Maria, your anecdotes are no good. <laughs> Ortho Carolina down in, in uh, North Carolina, Hogue Orthopedic Institute in California, mm. they love these bundled payments because that allows them to actually make more money by being efficient and reducing the cost of their care. How, about, how, how, come, the majority, how come the majority of Americans want the, the uh, program repealed and replaced? How come businesses say, please get this cost off, I can't hire anybody anymore? How come so many people want it replaced if your facts Maria, are so good and Maria, mine are no good? You may not have looked at the latest polling, but NBC Wall Street Journal latest polling shows that now more people want the Affordable Care Act kept and more people, 50 percent of people, don't trust the Republicans to actually amend the Affordable Care Act in a responsible way. The polling is changing, Maria. We always know it's easy at the start with just bland comments to say, oh, we're going to repeal and people will support it. Once the details come out, support drops like a stone. And that's what's going to happen with the Republicans. And you're not going to see lots of people urge. It. As a matter yeah. of fact, one of the ads that played in between here was from AARP, keep our Medicare because they don't trust the Republicans to actually preserve Medicare yeah. for and the elderly. You know what? That's going to be a serious on problem the Titanic for are selling like hotcakes. That's also happening, yeah. too. <laughs> All right, Dr. Emanuel, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, Zeke Emanuel. Just get the Coming facts up. right, Maria, next time. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, thanks.